Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so in the process of flushing we faced the lots of issues so today i will discuss one of them that is the boot image corrupt issue and the after restoration of an android backup causing the camera and the fingerprint issue in the OnePlus Nord 2 these solutions may work on the other phones too so you can use it to solve your problems also if you guys want a complete series of such videos where you want to solve the such issue for the Nord 2 or any other phones please comment with your issue in the comment section I will try to solve it definitely. So if you are facing such issues or it will be the part of your issue in the future because of the flashing process you must watch this video till the end so without wasting time let's get started. A new adventure. So we will first see the boot image corrupt issue. This issue may arise specifically if you ever tried the bootloader locking by using the command fastboot flashing lock or if you flash the wrong boot image. So this logo will appear on the screen saying your boot and recovery is damaged, phone cannot boot. So in this case normal process of booting into the fastboot mode is not possible, old volume down and power button will not work. So what we have to do is to keep your boot image of the current install ROM ready on the PC. First press and hold the power button, phone turns up, now long press the volume down, volume up and the power button simultaneously now phone will boot up in a fastboot mode. Connect phone to the PC. Now open the same DR PowerShell window in the same folder where we place the boot image file. Now type the fastboot devices to check whether your device is properly connected or not. Now type fastboot flashing unlock. This will erase all your data. So before doing these all these steps, first keep the backup by booting phone into the TWRP and via the MTP. On the phone, you will see the prompts like the place volume up for the unlock and down to skip. So press volume up to unlock. Now type the fastboot flash boot boot image. After hold the process type the command fastboot reboot. That's it phone will be boot into the stock ROM. So let's discuss the second problem that is if you have the an Android backup and whenever you try to restore the TWRP backup it get restored everything works well and when you boot up in the system main problem starts. You can't able to use the camera app it's getting force close again and again even after we wipe its data. If you try to use the different camera from the Play Store, it will show the camera app was used by other app and inside the face unlock setting. Second issue is when you try to set up the fingerprint, it continues to vibrate and doesn't recognize your fingerprint. So this is the main cause of persist image partition. TWRP will not restore it correctly while restoring the TWRP backup. So what we have to do is to take the persist.emmc.win file from your TWRP backup. Now place that file in one folder on the PC power of your phone then boot your phone into the fast boot mode for that long press volume down plus power button. Now on the PC inside the folder press shift plus right click of the mouse and select the powershell window here from the drop down menu. After that type the command fast boot flash persist persist.image.emmc.win and hit enter. After that type the fast boot reboot so that's it phone will reboot and the issue of the camera and the fingerprint must be solved here. So this is the video for today. Please do like and share this video if you think will help you. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.